Hey kids, welcome back to the next episode of the Incredible Kids Podcast. My name is Moritz Siri, and I will be your host through this incredible journey. We are going to meet many incredible kids. They are going to share with us their stories. Some of them super cool and different like you've never heard before. And some you may say are just ordinary, but all of them incredible. If you have great ideas, email me today at ikidspodcast at gmail.com. And now it's time for Incredible Kids. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another night of the Tehillim Army with Shlomo and Moritziri. Hi, everybody. I'm Moritziri. It's so nice to be here again. This is my favorite time of the day. But of course, we gather right now for a serious situation in Eretz Yisrael, as we do each day. And um, thank you. Thank you for making this such a priority in your day and for stopping whatever you're doing, um, supper time homework time, play time, whatever happens in your life right now to unite together for Am Yisrael. It is so special each and every time. So tonight we are privileged to have a very, very, very special Rebbe, Rabbi Kalish from Waterbury. And um, we talk about Waterbury a lot, right? Yesterday, Waterbury got a very big shout out, the Waterbury community. And um, Rabbi Kalish is from Waterbury Yeshiva. We're excited to have him on. We also have a very special boy leading Parak P. Gimel tonight. Um, and it is also his birthday, Shimon Bilori. You're going to tell me if I'm saying your name right. It's a funny spelling, Bilori. Um, so he's going to come on afterwards and lead to Hillim with all of us for the soldiers, for the Chayalim, who we dive in for every single day, and for all of the Jewish people. Um, before we start, I just want to say thank you to tonight's very generous and incredible sponsors. So again, this entire week was sponsored anonymously. Thank you so much for the supporting the, the Salem army over here and also sponsored by the Goldhars. And it was a Zuchas for Rafua Shalima for Rachel Bas Figa, Racheli and Azi Mazai's great grandmother. And special for tonight, the Bilori family, the our Tehillim birthday boys family sponsored um, for Shimon's eighth birthday, Rafua Shalima for Yisrael Gedon Ben Shalam Sivya and Moshe Shmuel Ben Sarah Batzion, and for Yeshua for the singles in Kal Yisrael, and of course for the soldiers and the hostages. Also sponsored by the Lif family um, for the yard site of Rifka Bas Yaakov. Also sponsored by the Car families of Waterbury, and it's sponsored for. Lilo Nishmas Pinchas Naftali Ben Shimon Gedalia, may his Neshama have an Aliyah. Um, and I know there was a lot of excitement about Rabbi Kalish being on our program. Some of you kids have brothers who are right now in Waterbury Masifta. Some of you might be fathers of Tehillim Army kids who are excited to reunite with your Rebbe over here. I know that when it was COVID, Rabbi Kalish was the king of Zoom. Um, Rabbi Kalish had Shiurim on Zoom every single night. Sometimes I went on them. Sometimes um, many, 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 many people went on them. They were very, very full. So those were those Zoom calls were much more popular way before the Tehillim Army Zoom calls came around. And it's a big dechus to have Rabbi Kalish with us um, on our program. So let me just get you on the line over here. Okay, Rabbi Kalish, could you just hit unmute and then you're on. Um, I Yes, I'm on welcome. The... Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. The pleasure is ours. I first, I wanted to thank Moritziri and her husband, Red Mayer, for having me on and for just having this incredible program, this nightly program. Um, I know Moritziri's brother, Yoshua, who's a chassan, who I believe is on, just became a chasna. I want to wish him a mazel tov. And this whole family, it's amazing what you do every single night. All the kids that are on, it's really precious. I think right now what we need as a people, Klal Yisrael, is to come together. And the fact that so many kids from all over come together nightly to say to Hillen, to Davin for Yidin, and just to be together. The fact that different kids are spotlighted and spoken to and spoken about is exactly what our precious people need today. 
I want to share the very term, but I want to thank every single kid from being on. Really, the main thing might be the shout outs, because the key point is that we're gathered, we're together. My son, Yisrael Mayor Kalish, and his classmates, Levi Berger, Svi Barak, Aaron Weiss, Benny Friedman, Ruby Hanover, and all his classmates who come on. It's amazing. My neighbor, the Gross and the Ira Gross, comes on at night to say, tell him to join other Yidden. Just so, so precious. Ricky Liff, my close, close friend, David Liff, his daughter, Ricky, comes on to say to Hillem, I'm proud of her. And it's just so nice that you come on to say to Hillem, to sing together with Yidden. Gavi and Moyo Brenner from Baltimore have come on and always come on. The Schoen family from Waterbury, the Wisnicki and Magluder family, families from Waterbury who come on nightly. The wheel catches from Baltimore who come on. The Mets is from Blue Ridge. I'm thankful you're on. I'm very close friends with their father. And the Mets is from Clifton, who are on, and their father and family are close friends of ours. I'm proud of you. Yosef and Akiva Bork from Baltimore on the Netkins, who are on from Blue Ridge, the Zone family from Blue Ridge, Saraleya Stein from Blue Ridge, and Lazar and Asher Katz from Muncie, Maishi Lefkowitz from Baltimore, the Levenbergs. Really, really proud of all the boys and girls that are on at night to say to him, really incredible. And let's keep doing this. Let's keep saying to him together, keep the friendships that we're creating and just enjoying each other. That is certainly what our precious people need. Tonight is Tubishvat. And Tu B'Shvat, there's a minog in Klal Yisrael that you didn't eat peris, that we eat fruits. People will make a beret pre eats. I know my wife has cut up in the kitchen beautiful looking fruits that we're going to make brachas on tonight, tomorrow. Klal Yisrael is celebrating Tu B'Shvat. I can't say the weather by everybody. I look, I'm looking out the window this moment there's snow on the ground. There's snow on the ground right now. And if any one of the children, if all of us look at the trees, the trees are very, very bare. They do not have leaves on them now. They certainly do not have fruit on them right now. And the question is, is what is the understanding of our Minag Yisrael? We have a beautiful Minag that all of us are going to take, make a bracha on fruit, either tonight or tomorrow. This custom, many, many yidin have this minag. What, how do we understand that? If we did it in the summer, if we did it even after Pesach, Shvilas time, so the fruit is starting to grow and we celebrate the growth of the fruit, I would totally understand. We're always thankful to Hashem, Hashem sends us delicious Paris, and we thank Hashem and we say, Baruch Ata Hashem, Elekeinu Melech Ha'ilam, Bereit Priya Eitz. Wonderful. It makes so much sense. Hashem sent us fruit, and we make a brach on those fruit. But to do it now, right now, there's snow on the ground, or at least it's very, very cold, and fruit are not growing. Why are we making a bracha on fruit right now? What's, what's happening? So I want to tell you something about our precious people, about Klal Yisrael. And what I want to say about Klal Yisrael is most people thank Hashem when they see the fruits. So people thank Hashem. We understand that even today when you don't see the fruit, Deep underground, Hashem is preparing the fruits coming. So you might see snow on the ground and the trees may look bare, but deep underground, sap is starting to flow. The rains, most of the rains have happened already that are going to cause the fruits to grow. And what I want, and we're our people, Klal Yisro, thank Hashem and recognize 
even in the winter, even when the trees look empty and the storms are blowing, Hashem is working and preparing for the beautiful Paris that we're shortly going to enjoy and have. And what I want to say to all of us who are gathered to say till of this incredible army of precious Yidin that are gathered nightly to say till him, I want to say to us all that we're going through something very, very difficult, Klal Yisrael. But I want to say that even in difficult times, Hashem is working with us and Hashem is bringing good things, peiris, good things, just like the trees, even when they look empty, but good fruits are coming. Hashem is working with us. Who knows in this difficult situation, here we're, Thousands of people gathered, saying Tehillim, hearing Divrei Torah, singing together. Hashem, who knows? We don't know the reasons, but we know Hashem is working with us. And look, our nation is growing, davening to Hashem more, coming together closer. So even in difficult times during the winter, during storms, we understand that good things are coming and Hashem is working with us. I'd like to share two very similar stories with everybody here on this topic, that when you have difficult times, Hashem is working with us and good things are around the corner. So my Rebbe, my Rebbe has a yeshiva in Farakwe, it's called the Yeshiva Farakwe. My Rebbe should have a Rufua Shlema, Rebbe Yechiel Yitzchak Ben Leia. My Rebbe has a Yeshiva called Yeshiva Farakwe, a very, very special Yeshiva. Yeshiva Farakwe was on a very small block and was basically in a house like building. And somebody on the block wanted to shut the Yeshiva down. And they found that in the early 1900s, the yeshiv, the black had made a deal amongst themselves that no school and no shul was allowed to open up on the black. And they took the yeshiva to court and they got the yeshiva sent out off that block. When the yeshiva was shut down and sent off the black, everybody was sad. It was such a scary situation. An important and precious yeshiva was being shut down. And the yeshiva for Akwe relocated and with the help of Hashem found a beautiful property, a much bigger property. And it ended up growing into a much bigger, much more beautiful place that still stands today. And it it turned out that what looked like such a sad story really turned in tremendous growth into a bigger yeshiva in a more beautiful place for the yeshiva. Many years ago, the yeshiva that the Chas and Shua Frank, the yeshiva of Waterbury, that beautiful yeshiva, the yeshiva of Waterbury, in the summer, the, the government, we were not zoned properly for a boarding school. And the yeshiva couldn't be in Waterbury anymore. And that summer was one of the hardest summers of my life. The yeshiva no longer had a place. It happened at the end of the year. And the yeshiva was shut down. I was getting texts and requests from people for different dorms to be in this. And the yeshiva didn't exist. We were shut down because we weren't zoned for a boarding school. And it was such a difficult summer. And I remember asking what's happening. And my wife told me, Daniel, have the moon, have faith. Hashem is working with us in difficult times. It might look like snow on the ground. The trees may be empty. But remember, we make a brach on an orange, on an apple. We know good things are coming. Hashem's bringing us somewhere. And Yitz Rabinowitz, my close friend, Reb Yitz, a tremendous helper of Yidin, found the beautiful campus in Durham, Connecticut, and Rabbi Kaufman's yeshiva that was threatened. It was such a dangerous situation. 
And with the help of Hashem, we found a beautiful campus that's much bigger, that has much more facilities, that was much better for the Bachrim. And we saw a tremendous Nisim and the Yeshiva remains in that beautiful campus until today. So I say to all the precious Jewish children out there that all of us in our lives, we see the kindness of Hashem very, very often. And sometimes we go through something difficult and it's hard. We cry, we feel what we feel, we dive into Hashem, we ask Hashem for help. But a Yid always has the awareness that Hashem is working with us and bringing us somewhere. It's difficult times we're in right now. And we're davening Tashem and we're crying and we're feeling and we're experiencing. But we also know that Hashem is, loves Klal Yisrael, loves us and is working with us. And who knows, look at the Yidden gathering together. This, who knows if this would have been if not for the challenges we face. So I say to everybody in this incredible army of Yidin that are joining together and appreciating each other and celebrating each other, I say to us all that we're fortunate to be part of a precious people. We're a fortunate people that we make a bracha through the middle of the winter because we understand that even when there's challenges and the storms and snow, the fruits are coming, good things are happening, Hashem is working with us. We should all see quickly the Yeshua's for Yidin. We should see Yidin safe. We should see Yidin bond together and grow together. Thank you so, so much for listening. And thank you so, so much, Moritziri, for this program and for having me on. Wow, beautiful. Thank you so much. That's such a beautiful way to tie in to Bishvat, which is in it, which is right now. Um, to Bishvat, which is right now, into the Tehillim army, really like re- recognizing that these are the these children are, I mean, I don't know if this is exactly what the Rev was saying, but um these children are like the fruits that were like almost planted in the heart, like it, within the hard times. Like we are showing, we are showing what we can bring good out of a very, very tricky and scary situation um thank you everyone um, let me see everybody everybody at home giving a big round of applause for rabbi kalish and thanking him in your way and just waving and saying hello and we have such beautiful children doing that over here hello esther rosenberg um thank you so much and it was so special because i saw that when you were giving these like we call shout outs to all of the different families and a lot of connections obviously within your community and the yeshiva and Really, every single person deserves a shout out, but I can see that each person means so much to you and that you, Rabbi Kalish, value each of these kids because that's what we're doing here. This is a very good use of all of our times because every single kid here is super incredible. And thank you for appreciating the kids. It's really, we need to have more people in Klal Yisrael who appreciate kids and children and teenagers. Um because we're all, each and every one of you guys are so, so special. So thank you, Rabbi Kalish, on behalf of the whole from world. <laughs> um, can I do something interesting, Rabbi Kalish? Sure, please. Rumor has it, and that you could tell me if I'm wrong, but rumor has it that Rabbi Kalish's favorite song is Avraham from the Eighth Day, or one of your yeah. favorite songs. I love that song. Yes, it's true, accurate. So I'm going to play it and everybody at home and you could, I'm going to just, I'll, I'll take off your spotlight and we're going to see if everybody could sing along on, on mute, but we could, we could see that you're singing. If you put your arms around your brothers and sisters and we're, and I love that song, right? Kalish, why, what, can you tell everybody why you love, I'm putting you on the spot, but why you love that song so much? I just know that. I don't know why I know that. Sure. Avram Avinu was, we call him, he's our father. He started our precious people. Avram Avinu cared about every single Yid. Avram Avinu davened for every Yid. One of the many things to say about Avram Avinu, but I want to say that Avram Avinu davened to Hashem, that there shouldn't be one Yid that's rejected, that's pushed away. It says that Hashem promised Avram that I'm going to send Meginim. I'm going to send shields 
and people like Moritziri in every generation that are going to make sure every single yid is pulled in, is included, and counts. And I've, that's what Hashem told Avram. And when we say every single day, Hashem is the Mugain Avram, the shield of Avram, we're referring to Hashem saying that He's going to protect and shield every single year. The Mugain Avram, the shield of Avram means Hashem protects me, Hashem protects you, all of our precious children. Hashem wants us, protects us, and loves us. So I appreciate this song about the starter of our people, Avram Avinu Allah. Okay, and without further ado, here we go. Avraham, thank you so much, Rabbi Kalish. Okay, let's see what I could do here. Let's see, Shlomo, should we multitask? Should we multitask over here before we start to Tehillim and have everybody sing a nice negin together? Yeah, okay, let's do this. Let's go, everybody. Arms around each other. You are the children that Abraham dreamed of. Let's see. Look at the incredible Stuart. Sitting in the hot desert sun You've been told You'd be on the run Down to Egypt To Pharaoh's town to Rome and Spain and many other lands but you open your door to tired men to lonely passers by and angels from heaven your kindness and your care were known far and wide a father of a nation your soul is alive Are we the children that you dreamed of? Are we that shining star you saw at night? You know it's true, we still call you a Venu. Our Father, our bride, we got your soul inside. Take us home, take us home. Every test Now look a small show In the Midwest A child was born Just the other day And all those gathered there Heard his mother say Oh, it's been three thousand years Father of our people, your dream is alive. Abraham, are we the children that you dreamed of? Are we that shining star you saw at night? You know it's true, we still call you a Venu. Soul. Courage and your might get the barrels up at night. No hand could hold you, no stranger would forget you. Courage and your might get the barrels up at night. No hand could hold you, no stranger would forget you. Abraham, yes, we're the children that you. Oh, I 
Wow. That was so, so beautiful, everybody. I don't know what else to say. I just I thought of that idea and I'm so happy I did because to see you each singing, each and every one of you, a shining special star, one of the children that Avram Avinu saw in his dream. I'm crying. Just give me a minute. Um, been a while. <laughs> Uh, each and every one of you, thank you for being here. And now we are ready for our Tehillim. Let me see everyone take out your Tehillims. We're going to open up to Parak K. Hey, Gimel. And before I spotlight our special friend who's going to lead us in Tehillim, let's see who's ready. Let's see who's ready holding up your own Sefer Tehillim. Um, let's see over here. Let's see, we have the Wiznikis with their Tehillims. Hi, Wiznikki family with your Tehillims. Thank you for being here. Oh, serious business. Um, we have the incredible. Uh, Eliana with her Tehillim Ace Ratzon, so beautiful. And we have so many people already with their Tehillim. And the, let's see, this family over here, the Shulman family looks all cozy on the couch with their Tehillims. Okay, so our Tehillim reader today hails from Providence, Rhode Island. Is this the right screen? Here, could you unmute? Yeah. Ah, Can you get the other screen? The other screen, the other screen. The one that says incredible. Okay, one second, I'll try it. Um, let's see. Okay, I think this is it. Hi, boys. Hi. 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 How, how are you over there in Rhode Island? Good. Okay. On the ground. You have lots of snow on the ground. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, boys, can you introduce yourselves quickly? Uh, Who's I'm, who? I'm Shimon. He's Shmuel. And he's your victim. Shmuel. Shim before. Oh, hello, hello. Well, I met your big sister, right? Your older sister. Did she tell you about that? Yeah. That was actually really funny. I was in here in Baltimore. I was in a park with Shlomo. Shlomo, remember? I was pushing him on the swings and I saw your sister. I didn't know who she was. And she said, are you from Incredible Kids? Yeah, what were you going to say? Um, and my niece called called Shlomo by by my name. Oh, really? I, that's funny because I remember that happening, but I didn't know you at the time. So now I'm so happy I got to meet you. And then your sister said, can I just ask, are you Moritziri? Because I feel like my brothers go onto the Tehillim army every night and your voice sounds really familiar. So we were schmoozing and she's such a nice girl, your sister. And now you're here saying Tehillim. So it's such a small world. I'm so happy to have you here, boys. Um, Shimon, happy birthday. Thank you. So such a beautiful birthday. Tu and Tehillim army reading the Tehillim. Let's start loud and clear. Parak P. Gimel. And we're going to beg Hashem to destroy the enemies of the Jewish people and bring us Mashiach. Ready? Yeah. Okay, Pasuk Aleph, you're on. Shir Mizmar Le'asaf. Shir Mizmar Le'asaf. Elohim al dami loch al techarash al techot el. Elohim al dami lach al tacharash ve al teshko el. He hine ayavacha ye mayon umisan echa nasu ro. He hine ayavacha ye mayon umisan echa nasu Al amacha ye arino sod ve yes ya atu al tifu necha. Al amecha ya arimu sod ve yes ya atu al tifu necha. Amru lefu in achidein mi gai velo izacher shem Israel o. Amru lechu in achidein mi gai velo izacher shem Israel o. Ki no atu leiv yachtab alecha bris yechoti. Ki no atu leiv yachtab alecha bris yechrosu. 
Ahalei Adom Yishmeelim Umoa Vahagrim. Ahale Adom Vishmaelim Moav Vihagrim. Vov Amon Va Amoi Kalashes Im Yushme Tor. Geval the Amun the Amalek Pelashas im Yoshevi Tsor. Gam Ador Nela Imo Hayu Zeroa Livne Lotzela. Gam Ashur Nilva Imam Hayu Zeroa Livne Lotzela. Asalam Kimidian Kisses Zerachia Vin Benachal Kishon. I say lahem ke midyan ke sisra ke yavin benachal ki shon. Nishmedu ve eindor, how you do me lo adama? Nishmedu ve eindor, how you do me lo adama? Simo ne di vimo ke orif ve chese vuch zevach uch tamuna kom de si chemo. She simo ne di vimo ke orif ve chese vuch. Bezavach uchet salmuna kal nesichimo. Asher amaru nerish alanu es naos elohim. Asher amaru nerish alanu es naos elohim. Elohai shisimo chagal gal kekash lif neiruach. Elohai shisimo chagal gal kekash lif neiruach. Ke ish tev ar ya ar uchla hava telahe harim. Ke ish tev ar ya ar uchla hava telahe uf sufa secha sev halim. Ke ish tev ar ya ar uchla hava telahe harim. Ke ish tev ar ya ar uchla hava telahe harim. Ke ish tev ar ya ar uchla hava telahe harim. Male Fenehem Kalon Vivakshu Shemcha Adonai. Ye voshu vi bahalu ade ad viach beru vi o vedu. Ye voshu vi bahalu ade ad viach peru ve o vedu. Ye de u ki atashem chadone vadecha al yona kol haaret. Ye de u ki atashem chadonei levadecha al yon al kol haaret. Wow, Shmuel and Shimon, you read that so, 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 so beautifully. Um, I'm going to keep you on while I say the um, Misha Berach for the Chayalim, but we can think about everybody in Am Yisrael who needs the Philos. And if you don't mind saying Amin, it would be very special. Misha Berach Avosinu, Avraham Yitzchak Biakov, who Yavarich Asa Chayalim, Ha'om Deba Mishma Aratinu, Va'ari Elohinu, Itin Adonai Es Ayavinu, Ha'kamem Malinu Negafim Lefnehem, Ha'kadosh Baruch Hu, Yad Beres Oninu Tachtehem, the Atri Mekasar Yeshua, Uba Ataras Nitzachon, Vikuyam Bahem Hakasav, Ki Adonai, Elohicham, Haholi, Himacham, Lahilach Himacham, Ima Yavicham, Lahoshia Ascham, Venomar, Amin. We have shouted. Okay, shout them out. Let's hear. Um, to all my friends and cousins, and especially my cousin in, in Eretz Yisrael who really likes the Torah army. Beautiful. Or do you have the same shout outs? You have your own shout outs or you're included? The same. Oh, included. It's like a family wide, family wide shout outs. Beautiful. Thank you, Bilori family. Shimon and Shmuel, you are amazing. And thank you for being part of our very important Salem Army. It's by Lori family. Oh, by Lori. I meant to ask you. I'm sorry. By Lori. Can I ask you a question? Is there anyone else who lives in Providence besides you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, just make sure that they all are part of the Tehillim army. Yeah. Do they all come on? No. Some of them. Some of them. Mm, I don't know. Um, okay, you're going to do your homework and you're going to go tell all of them to join. Some of my class does. Like... Okay, awesome. That's amazing. I'm not taking attendance. I'm just kidding around. Okay, boys, thank you so much. Happy birthday again. Um, okay, everybody at home, we are ready to do our Incredible Kids raffles. <laughs> Couple prizes for today to show you. Number one is, you want to say, you want to hold the book? Okay. This is the Art Squirrel book that we're raffling off today. What a story for children by Rabbi Spiro. And also today we are going to be raffling off some incredible kids t-shirts. Um, Shlomo, you want to go get that t-shirt? Show all the kids what the incredible kids t-shirts look like. You got one? They're on the chair. Yeah, right there, right there. Um, And then... Special, special, and this doesn't happen. It's like, doesn't happen that often, but we do have um, compliments of 
the um of, of Lechaim American Dream, we are giving away two tickets to the Nickelodeon theme park. Hey. I did. <laughs> that was my secretary. Um we are going to be giving away two tickets to to um to the American Dream theme park. Okay, are we ready, guys? Shlomo got carried away. He forgot where he was getting my t shirt. Shlomo, they're right here. Okay, Incredible Kids t shirts reminding all of the wearers that you are one incredible kid. So when you wear them, you remember that you're an incredible kid wherever you go. Um, I also want to say thank you to the Wartelski family for sending the most beautiful, um, the Wartelskis from from the incredible Wartelski kids who sent me this gorgeous, stunning platter. And the reason why I'm showing it to you is because you don't even understand how happy I was to get it yesterday in the mail or however they shipped it. Because just like Rabbi Kalish was talking about how when it's too fat, we're supposed to be having fruits. And you have to like prepare for these things. And the only fruits I have in my house right now are like apples. And that would be a very sad tubish fat if I was just eating apples. So I'm very, very excited because I completely, completely forgot to buy tubish fat fruit. So this was a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I'm so excited to make all of those brachos later. So um, thank you very much. And thank you for that beautiful display of Hakar Satov. Um, okay, so I'm going to share my screen and we're going to do some awesome raffles now. And then we'll get let everybody get on with their regular routines. Okay. Um, No, I'm still here, Shlomo. One second. Okay, let's do this. Okay, raffle number one. Let's go. Drum rolls. Let's see your drum rolls. Let's see. Rabbi Kalish is my neighbor. You're doing a good drum roll. And incredible Waterbury Hebbers. And the Klinkowitzes. And the winner is the Gersmans. Talia Gersman at gmail.com. Okay. Next winner is for Incredible Kids t-shirts. Let's go. Incredible Kids t-shirts for you guys. You're all incredible kids. And the winner is the Abrahams. Mabrahams613 at gmail.com. And this prize is now for two tickets to the Nickelodeon theme park at the American Dream Mall. Let's go. And the winner is taking a long time. Um, the Schwartz is Dina Hanek at gmail.com. So all of tonight's winners, as always, you can send me an email at ikidspodcast at gmail.com and tell me what you won. And then, Marissa Shem, we will try to get you your prizes as soon as possible. Meanwhile, tomorrow, big announcement to make. Is everyone listening? Marissa Shem, tomorrow, we will be joined by a band, a really fun band called Schlepping Nachas. And they are coming. I invited them on to the Tehillim Army because does anyone know the name of this week's Parsha? This is a question that if you want to raise your hand, I can call on you to answer, but you got to know it. Or you got to at least think you know it. What is the name of this week's Parsha? Okay, let's go. Can you tell us? What's the name of this week's Parsha? Let's try you guys. The Incredible Zultis. Do you know? Bishalach. That's right. It's Parsha's Bishalach. Do you know what happens in Parsha's Bishalach? Are the Makos over? Mm. Yeah. 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 So who's like the bad guy in Parsha's Bishalach? Yeah. Who? Amalek. Yeah, but before Amalek, Paro. before they left Mitzrayim, who? Paro. Paro, you guys are really good at knowing your bad guys. There's actually a lot of, you were right. You tricked me because there's actually more than one bad guy. But either way, Paro. And what did Paro wear in the Parsha? Pajamas. That's right. Paro wore his pajamas. So Schlepping Nachas band has sings Paro in pajamas, like the one you know, but they made it like really cool. And guys, you want to know what you're going to have to do tomorrow? Everyone has to show up at the Tehillim Army tomorrow at six o'clock in your pajamas. 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 You got it. Thank you, Zoltis, for helping me out. 
Everyone tomorrow needs to show up in honor of Pyro and Pajamas in your pajamas for the world's biggest pajama party. Who's excited? Who's excited for the world's biggest pajama party? Okay. So we're going to see you, Merz Hashem, 6 o'clock p.m. tomorrow with the Schlepping Nachas Band with the world's biggest pajama party in honor of Pyro and Pajamas. Everybody, have a good night. And remember, you are all incredible kids. Bye. Bye.